Hey guys, AJ Hazzy here again with the Vantage West Realty video blog. We're going to keep going with uh, your questions, answering uh, each and one, every one of your questions as they come in. So I uh, want to start here with a great question from, uh, from Rob. Where are the buyers coming from right now? Local, Alberta, BC, where are they coming from? So right now, 50% of all the transactions that take place are happening from people inside of our board. So that's locals just moving from one property to another. The next big chunk of the market is Albertans. They represent about 25% of the sales. So Alberta, definitely a big component. And uh, the next uh, big chunk would be the Northern BC component. These are our resource workers who can uh, you know, live anywhere and they choose to live here with direct flights up to Fort Mac, that kind of thing. So that is the next sort of big chunk of uh, our buyers. Now the other 10, 15% is just spread out over people from all over Canada and the rest of the world. So those are the three major pieces. So great question, Rob. Um, another question from Randy. As a seller, how can I increase my chances of getting into a multiple offer situation? And if I'm successful, how uh, will I give myself enough time to make sure that I have a chance to review all of the offers? So this is a great question. It is very, very common now to see a multiple offer situation. And uh, what we're doing in order to try to give that a higher chance of happening is we're really getting razor sharp on the price right from the beginning. And then we're leaving about a week before we hit the MLS to create some pent up demand. We really wanna get that racehorse in the gates effect. So really, really good pictures, staging, and then hold showings back for a few days and then uh, let the weekend be your first opportunity to show it. Then what we do is once you've got that pent up demand and people are starting to threaten to have offers or telling you they have an offer coming in, we let everybody know that we're not accepting offers until Monday night. So what that does is that creates somewhat of an auction effect. It makes sure that everybody has a chance to get an offer in if they'd like to, and uh, hopefully this is gonna go up well over list price. So that's how we're doing that. Great question, Randy. And lastly, from Dan, where do I find a complete list of foreclosure properties and distressed sale properties? So uh, going back 2009 through 2011, there were huge long lists, 150 or more were on this list. Now that list has shrunk to about a third that size, but we still do have a great list of foreclosures uh, distress sales, estate sales, and other great deals. So if you'd like a, a copy of that list, it's changing all the time. We can actually set you up to be automatically notified when new foreclosures hit the market. So if that's something you're interested in, just drop us a line. We're happy to uh, set you up on that. So on that note, if you guys need anything or have any other questions, keep them coming. I'm going to keep answering these things as the video uh, blog continues. And as always, please never hesitate to reach out. You can get a home evaluation right here on the video blog or uh, you can surf the entire MLS right here from the video blog. So thanks again for tuning in and we'll catch up with you next week.